DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate by IBM. It's one of the most popular DevOps courses on Coursera platform. Currently, this course has a general rating of 4.7 out of 5 stars. And I think that's not bad at all. But is it worth investing your time, money and effort today? Are there any hidden disadvantages that might change your mind about taking it? My name is Daniel and today we will talk about DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate Course Overview Course Structure Pricing and Certification Career Opportunities And as always we will look at some student reviews I will also let you know my own opinion on the course. Guys, you will find all the links and discounts to this professional certificate in the description below. But for now, let's start. Overview The need for DevOps and software engineering skills is growing rapidly. Companies are looking for developers who can quickly adapt and contribute. To become one of them, you will need key skills essential for successful DevOps practices. And if you are interested in DevOps and software engineering, the course I am going to talk about today might be just what you need. So what is it about? Well guys, first of all, it's a professional certificate. It's a comprehensive learning program that will take you from A to Z in the world of DevOps and software engineering. The course description says that you need no prior experience in programming. And as far as I can see, the program does teach you some Python basics. But personally, I would recommend coming prepared. Because I think learning some programming basics might be helpful for these course folks. This certification program is designed to provide you with the knowledge and skills needed for DevOps, setting you up for an entry-level role in software engineering. There are many different DevOps concepts to explore. For example, you will deal with agile development, scrum system, cloud-native architecture, behavior and test driving development and zero downtime deployments. And as I said a little earlier, this certification program will introduce you to Python programming. Some other things you will pick up here are Linux shell scripts, GitHub, containers and app management using Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift. As always, one thing I pay special attention to is the practical side of courses. And the great thing about this program is that it gets quite hands-on. You will work on GitHub projects, learn how to build applications with microservices, work with serverless technologies and develop test cases. And of course, that's not it. There is much more to do. Course Instructors And now let me talk a bit about the certification program's instructors. IBM has been around for a while, guys. As one of the world's largest tech giant, it hires the best experts globally. IBM's learning programs are usually designed by dedicated teams of professionals. And this DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate isn't an exception. There are nine IBM educators, software engineers and developers, Python experts and data scientists. They are led by John Refreno. He is a senior technical staff member and DevOps champion at IBM Watson Research Center where he leads multiple research projects. Core Structure Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Alright, and now let's see what this certification program offers in terms of content. And let me tell you right away, guys. This is a middle-sized program. In the description it says it should take you 3 months if you learn 10 hours a week. However, after I did my own research and looked at some feedback, and also after looking at the amount of content you are expected to learn, I can say that 2 months is hardly a realistic time frame. And with all additional reading and researching, it's likely that you can spend as much as 6 months learning. But of course, it all depends on your level of experience. Anyway, folks, this course series is made up of 14 courses. Here they are. Introduction to DevOps, Introduction to Cloud Computing, Introduction to Agile Development and Scrum, Hands-on Introduction to Linux Commands and Shell Scripting, Next, Getting Started with Git and GitHub, Python for Data Science, AI and Development, Developing AI Applications with Python and Flask, Introduction to Containers, Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift, 
application development using microservices and serverless tools, introduction to test and behavior-driven development, continuous integration and continuous delivery, application security for developers and DevOps professionals, monitoring and observability for development and DevOps, and finally, DevOps Capstone project. As you can see, guys, the theory you are going to learn here is more or less obvious for DevOps expertise. But let me say a few words about the practical side of it. Here you will die into labs and projects that give you practical hands-on skills. The best part is that you will build a portfolio of projects to show off your expertise in popular DevOps and cloud-native software engineering tools and technologies. And here are a few examples of things you will work on. Building applications with Python using REST APIs and Python libraries. Developing Linux shell scripts using Bash and automating repetitive tasks. Using tools for automation, continuous integration and continuous deployment of software including Shell Puppet, GitHub Actions, Tecton and Travis. And I think this sounds really interesting. Pricing and certification. Now let's discuss the price. People, of course, it's not a free course. But I would recommend taking into account the amount of knowledge you are going to pick up here, practical projects and the credibility of the IBM certification. Besides, Coursera recognizes the value of making informed decisions. So they offer a 7-day free trial. This allows learners to explore the course content before committing to a paid subscription. It's a fantastic way to ensure you are making the right choice, folks. But you might ask, Daniel, what about certification? Does it really has any value? As soon as you finish the program and all the projects, you will receive a Coursera certificate of completion. But more importantly, you will earn a professional certificate from IBM that most employers would recognize. As I know, IBM certificates are among the most valuable certificates that exist online today. You can add it to your LinkedIn profile or your resume. Career opportunities Alright, all that's fine, but will this certificate help you land a job? And my answer will be yes. It's definitely designed to give you a hand. Finishing this course prepares you for junior roles in DevOps. After you have earned the certificate and completed all the projects, you can start applying for jobs. But guys, let's keep in mind that it won't automatically land you a high-paying job. It requires some other things like extra preparation for interviews and so on. And I'm going to make a video about this soon, so folks, stay tuned. Student reviews Alright, it's time to take a look at some student reviews. Specifically, let's talk about the Python for Data Science, AI and Development, the most reviewed course in the programs by far. Here is, for example, one of the 5-star reviews. Before I started this course, I had no clue where and how to deploy apps in microservice. Now I accomplished in the course have filled the gaps as well as gained knowledge of fundamental testing the app so that I can start deploying my own apps. Thanks IBM for the clear and simple content of modern DevSecOps. Is IBM's DevOps and Software Engineering Professional Certificate worth it? Ok, here is the final question for today. Should you spend your time and money on this certification program? And honestly, guys, I think it's a great comprehensive course series to take. Even based on the course content alone, I would say it's worth giving it a try. Besides, an IBM certificate is a valuable thing to have on your resume. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about IBM's DevOps and Software Engineering Professional certificate on Coursera. I left all course-related links with discounts in the description below. As always, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content I make. And subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and till next time.